All right, good morning. Check it out. Isn't that beautiful? Look at this. And look at these beautiful mountains. Here, let me see if I can zoom in on that for you guys. I'll go up a little, oh, quite a bit actually. Oops, that's me guys. Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. I mean, look at that. Jeez, I can't believe how far I'm seeing up on that mountain right now. That is insane. Okay, that's max 20 times. Wow. That's fantastic. Anyways, let's get back out of that. We were weighing up there, weren't we? Kick, kick, kick. Okay, anyway. Here we are. Took a nice little ride. Um, as you can see, it snowed. So a lot of my riding behind me, where I like to ride, is all snowed in. So now if we want to ride the mountains, we got to go up and over here and just keep it low more local in the mountains instead of riding deep kind of like the base of the mountains i suppose it's a good thing there's trails everywhere but uh no better place than to be up on the top of a mountain to do some bible study and read with god right just me god and my xr650 l oh days I'll get a camera so I can record some of my riding because that's always fun oh there it is can't lose that the magic wand for my phone <laughs> expensive little piece of tech Good. <laughs> oh, all right. So I haven't been making uh, too many studies or move videos, Bible study and whatnot. But uh, hey, man, studying is studying. If we can get out and study, let's do it. It's a little windy. Bear with me. Um, I think I would like to pick up in Romans. You don't know where Romans is. Oops. Uh, if you don't know where Romans is, how I remember is go Acts the Romans because Acts comes before Romans, and Acts is the Acts of the Apostles. So that comes after Mar Matt, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, and then you have Acts, and then you got Romans, so on and so forth. Anyways. Anyway, guys. Okay. Yeah. Listen to the titles of these. The Spirit of Life, Led by the Spirit, and Accept Anticipation of Glory. Those sound like some pretty good head headlines, huh? <laughs> okay. Man, when I... Kind of got to be this way because the wind's blowing on me. So let me see. I don't know if you guys can see me or not. Yeah, for sure. All right, let's say a prayer, huh? Father in heaven, thank you for this beautiful day. Please forgive us of our sins, Lord. Thank you for giving us the bodies, the spirits, the hearts to get out, to strive, to work for you, Father, not for man, to love our brothers and sisters to forgive each other, to forgive ourselves, 
Father, thank you for your guidance, your love, your forgiveness, Father. I ask you to please be with us as we read your word. Please lend us your wisdom, knowledge, and understanding as we read, Father, so we are able to gain what you want us to get out of your word, Father. Please lend us your interpretations of your word and help us to have that deep understanding and of your word and to bind your word to our hearts, mind, body, spirit, and actions, Father. I love you with all my heart, all my soul, and all my body, Father. I thank you and I love you. And please help me pronounce your words. And uh, so everyone that's studying with us can have a better clarity. I thank you, Father, and I love you. And through your Son, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Yeshua, his precious name. Oh, it feels good up here. Feels good to be able to howl. No one cares. You're up in the woods. <laughs> oh yeah. There's nothing like being up on the top of a mountain. I tell you, I love it. I love it. I love it. It just makes me wanna. Ow. <laughs> Anyways, we'll get back to it. Sorry. Just when I ride, it gets me pumped up. And when I'm reading God's word, I get even more pumped. All right. Spirit of life. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ. What, what do they say? There's no condemnation to them which are in Christ. Jesus, who walked not after the flesh, but after the spirit. God did, or Jesus didn't walk after the flesh, did he? No, he sure did not. He walked after the spirit, God's spirit. The law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus hath made me free from the law of sin of death because sin leads to ultimately death and Jesus is uh, leads us to life eternal and not only that he breaks our chains and sets us free from all of this all of the worldly pressures he, he takes it from us amen thank you God for what the law could not do in that, in that it was weak through the flesh, God sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh and for sin condemned sin in the flesh. That the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh, but again after the spirit. For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh so the people that are only after the worldly things are only after the worldly things. But they that are after the Spirit are of the things of the Spirit. So we got to find that balance between those, those things. To be able to maintain our lives in the worldly manner, but on the outside of the worldly manner in God's realm. You understand that? Be of the spirit, not of the flesh. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Woo! I love peace. And I love life. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Because the carnal mind is enmity against God. The carnal mind is against God. Because the carnal mind is listening to the flesh body and not listening to the spiritual man that God put within us for it is not subject to the law of God the carnal mind neither indeed can be so then they that are in the flesh cannot please God because they're only pleasing themselves how can we please God if we only please ourselves Again, how can we please our Father in heaven if we're only striving to please ourselves? But ye are not in the flesh, but in the Spirit. If so, be that the Spirit of God dwell in you. Now if any man have not the Spirit of Christ, he is none of his. And if Christ be in you, the body is dead because of sin. Okay? But the Spirit is life because of righteousness. But if the Spirit of him 
that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you and me and every of all, all our brothers and sisters he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwelleth in you he will quicken us he will save us he will keep evil from us he will fill us full of his holy spirit and guide us on the righteous path amen amen hallelujah father oh yeah christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by the spirit that dwelleth in you led by the spirit therefore brethren we are debtors not to the flesh to live after the flesh no we are not amen hallelujah for if ye live after the flesh ye shall die but if ye through the spirit do mortify the deeds of the body ye shall live okay let's listen to this real quick for if ye live after the flesh ye shall die now do they mean if you live after the flesh you die automatically no that is not what that means that means you still live a full life on earth but you live a full life on earth only serving your flesh and not God and therefore you have not accepted Jesus Christ into your heart now what happens when we don't accept Jesus Christ in our heart we feel lonely we feel sad we feel empty inside and there is no security okay now listen to this that is that is for us the people that are living after the flesh okay you do live a full life but it's not a good life all right but if ye through the spirit do mortify the deeds of the body which is knowing that our body does sin and we don't like the sin and we don't want to do it and we ask for forgiveness we shall live but if we live after the flesh and we don't care if we're sinning we, we shall surely die because we do not care that we are breaking God's laws. All right? For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. All right? For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are sons of God. We are sons of God. We are led by God. For ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but ye have received the spirit of adoption whereby we cry Abba Father all right the spirit itself breatheth witness with our spirit that we are the children of God God's Holy Spirit comes within us and identifies us as children of God because we have accepted Jesus Christ into our hearts as our Lord and Savior and our Redeemer okay he has broken our chains he has set us free okay we have to realize as Christians we do sin in this world we sin every day of our lives but the question is, is do we care about it or not? Do we care if we are sinning or not? Because that's what the that's what defines us from believers and non-believers. Okay, if we sin and don't care, that is horrible. We don't want to be that way. Yes, we sin, but we need to care about that sin and not want to sin and ask God for forgiveness to help us be better people. Amen. This is what God wants from us. He wants us to be bold. He wants us to be proud of Him. He wants us to walk in His ever-loving light and reflect it to everybody we go by. He wants us to know that when we sin, He loves us and He forgives us. We don't need to cower down and, and give up and give in to the devil. Heck no. We need to stay strong and keep our heads up and let God fill our bodies full of His, His Shekinah glory. Alright? Amen. Hallelujah. The Spirit itself breathe witness with our spirit. All right? I love that. That we are the children of God. And if, and if children, then heirs. Heirs of what? Heirs of God. All right? And joint heirs with Christ. So what are we? We are joint heirs. We are right there with our brother, our brother Jesus, our Lord, our King, our Savior. Okay? We are right there in the same boat with our Lord Jesus Christ. All right, we are heirs with him. Why? Because we are children of God. When we when we sin, we don't like the sin. We ask God for forgiveness, okay? That is the difference between a believer and a non-believer, okay? A non-believer is going to be somebody that is sinning and either don't know that they're sinning 
or know that they're sinning and just don't care. All right, us believers, when we sin, we know we we know we're sinning. Okay, and we don't like it, and we're gonna ask God to forgive us of our sins and please change our hearts to not want to do that sin no more. We can't just want to sin and then ask God for forgiveness and keep sinning. That ain't how it works. But our heart hasn't changed. Okay, God knows our hearts. He is the great cardio knower. We are joint heirs with Christ. If so be that we suffer with him, with Christ. When we suffer with people being mad at us because we're believers, rejoice in that. Take pride in that. Because we're with God and he's with us. All right, we stand up for God. He will stand up for us. Hallelujah. That we may be also glorified together. Do you hear that? We will be glorified together. All of us with Jesus Christ. We will be glorified together. That is so beautiful. In the anticipation of the glory. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be comprehended with the glory which shall be revealed in us. What? The glory within us revealed. Okay? The sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be comprehended with the glory which is to be revealed in us. Okay? This hard time that we're going through right now, this, this pandemic, don't let it take God's glory away. Okay? We need to be focused on our Father, not on this pandemic. For the earnest expectation of the creature waiteth for the manifestation of the sons of God. All right? For the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly, but by reason of him who hath subjected the same in hope. Because the creature itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of God. Liberty, the freedom, the freedom of the children of God. Okay, we are freed by God's glory. We have liberated, okay? For we know that the whole creation groaneth and trivileth in pain together until now. Our world is sad and upset and it is being hurt and damaged by all of our, by us. Okay, we need to take, we need to stop and take a look at what we're doing to our Mother Earth and be smart about it, okay? We don't need to let people come in and try to change the whole way that we're trying to correct things no 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 because they'll they'll want to serve themselves and their needs and not god's needs we don't follow people like that we follow people that are direct from god okay they're not going to tell us their own ideas they're going to tell us god's ideas they're going to tell us what god wants us to do out of the bible and if we're smart christians we will sit there and we will listen to them read it and we will read it ourselves to make sure that there is nothing hidden from our from our minds and our spirits all right and not only they but ourselves also which have the first fruits of the spirit we have the first fruits of the spirit even we ourselves grown within ourselves waiting for the adoption we are our bodies and our souls right now i don't know if i'm the only one but by goodness this last week has been ridiculously stressful. It has, the Satan is just working on absolutely everybody. He wants everybody to be miserable. He wants to give everybody everything that they can have to take their minds off God. And he is doing a dang good job at it. We Christians and believers in Christ may need to stand up and put those things to the side and put God in front of everything. God is above all. And he needs to be that way in our hearts, our minds, our bodies, and our actions our spirits and within our love all right because we are waiting for that adoption my body is groaning for it i want my father i want him i want to be with my father and my brother jesus my lord my king my savior to wait to redemption of our bodies for we are saved by hope we are saved by hope okay what is hope? It is believing without seeing. Do you understand this? Okay, we are the generation of believing without seeing. Everybody back in the old days got to see everything, and none of them still believed. That's why we are the generation of believing without seeing. For we are saved by hope, but hope that is seen is not hope. For what a man seeth, why doeth he yet hope for it? So when we see it, how can we still hope for it? Okay? 
But if we hope for what we see not, then do we, with patience, wait for it. Yeah, we're waiting for it. We're being watchmen. We're reading God's word. We're studying. We're learning. We're keeping our spiritual armor buffed out and strong and powerful. And we're looking at our brothers and sisters. And we're trying to keep them positively encouraged and helping them move towards God's foundation and Jesus Christ and the path that is so narrow. It is a single track. All right. Hallelujah, God. Amen. Amen. Father, amen. Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities, for we know not what we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit itself maketh intercessions for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. Our body is speaking a language to God that we don't even know what it's saying because our even our body is groaning and it is tired of all of these bad things and these negative vibes in this world that are just changing our, our molecular structure. And he that stretch, stretcheth the hearts, or he that searcheth the hearts, knoweth what is in the mind of the Spirit. Okay, that is God in Jesus. He searcheth our hearts. He is the great cardinal. He knows our hearts. He knows our minds. God knows exactly what we're going to say before we say it. He knows what we're going to do before we do it. But he gives us that free choice of free will to make the right decisions, to know right from wrong, okay? And if we want to know what's right from wrong, we need to study God's Word. This is the, this is the instruction manual on knowing all right from wrong. In here you have the good, the bad, the ugly, okay? Reading God's Word is beautiful. And he that searcheth the hearts knoweth what is in the mind of the Spirit, because he maketh intercessions for the saints according to the will of God. The intercessions for the saints, that's us. We are saints. We are the saints of God, and we are his ambassadors. We are the ones that are sticking up for him and standing and talking and going against the wiles. Okay, We're going against them darts, and God is with us more than conquerors and we know that all things work together for good to them that love okay everything works good for them that show love and act in love and speak with love all right amen father to them who are the called according to his purpose and those are the people that are acting with love and showing kindness because when we love our neighbors as we love ourselves we are on we're basically taking care of the whole ten commandments do you understand this for whom he did foreknow, he also did pre, pre, predestinate to be confirmed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Moreover, whom he did president predestinate, that he also called, and whom he called them, he also justified, and whom he justified them. He also glorified okay God is a magical beautiful beautiful creator and he will take care of us okay when we answer his call he will level us up like nothing else nothing can touch us but we have to keep our hope do you understand this our hope is believing without seeing do you get this okay God gives us these gifts but we have to understand that they're their meekness, their humbleness, their showing love and kindness. I mean, our gifts are actions within good actions. Do you understand this? Okay? It's not superpowers flying over mountains. Love is one of the greatest magical gifts we can show and give. And forgiveness. You cannot forgive without love. Do you understand? Amen, amen. Father in heaven. Thank you for that beautiful reading. Thank you for your word, Father. Thank you for that heal, the Holy Spirit. I feel your anointing, Father. I hope everyone else feels that. You're so wonderful. You're so beautiful. I love you, Father, and I thank you. And oh, Thank you for this beautiful day. Please bless everyone out there. Please take their minds off of these pandemics and help them fixate and focus on you, Father. Help us all to focus on you more so. Put you in our lives put you within our actions put you within our thoughts and before we speak before we think before we ask before we even want to do something father i ask you to help us guide our minds to 
to consult with you, to ask you to help us make these decisions and not for us to rely on our own decision making because our flesh bodies are sinful. Father, I ask you to help us to let that spirit man come out. Let your spirit man come out within us and help us to be able to realize when we are sinning and to not like that sin, Father, and to make those corrections that we need to make to better ourselves for our families, for our friends, our neighbors, our brothers and sisters, Father. I ask of you these things, and I thank you. And please keep your hedge of protection around us. Please heal those that are sick, Father. Put your hut, your touching, healing hand on them right now, Father. Heal them, I ask of you, through your Holy Spirit. Please heal everyone that is sick, that is listening to this, and that's not listening to this. Please fill their families' hearts full of peace, love, joy, and happiness to where they have your comforter, Father, and they know that no matter what happens, you have got them, Father. You have got us, and you lead us, and you direct us as long as we keep our hope in you and keep our love and our faith and our strength within you, Father. Guide us. And I thank you, and I love you. And through your Son, Jesus Christ's name, Yeshua, his precious name, amen. <laughs> Woo! Ow! All right, everybody. That was beautiful. That was so beautiful. Okay. Now it's time to go ride, everybody. Oh, yeah. Time to ride, time to ride. I love you guys. God be with you. And uh, we'll see you next study, next ride. All right? Peace.